All right, guys, we're back with another video here today. And this one is going to be one of my favorite books. I would actually say right now, it's either my favorites or my second favorite book. And that's The Untethered Soul. Okay, we're going to go over four points. And this is going to be very in-depth. Okay, I'm going to talk a lot about each one. And just try to really get you guys to understand what's going on in this book, what he's trying to uh, convey, and what that means for us, and how we can implement that into our own lives. Number one. This is not, by the way, this is not in any specific order or anything like that. Always embrace change at all times and never resist reality. So a lot of pain comes from when we're um, when we get to a point where we're resisting something uh, that's happened in our reality. We're resisting it. Uh, something happened. Maybe we don't like what happened, and we're just trying to like control or manipulate the situation to what we want it uh, to be. And instead of just accepting and embracing what is. We're trying to really control and change uh, something uh, in the external. And that could be absolutely anything, right? As humans, we kind of, we want this like control, but uh, control is an illusion uh, in, in a lot of different ways. You know, you, you think you're in control, but honestly, like anything can happen at any time. Um, and you know, you're, you're so far in less, you know, you're, you're so far in less control than you think you are. Right. And this book is trying to get you to understand that. I mean, anything can happen. Anything that you think you're in control, like when you're flying, you know, in the sky in an airplane, you think you're in control. Absolutely not. You know, uh, the pilot can just shoot off into a mountain. Like who knows, you know? Even if you're going to drive in your car, you have this illusion of control. You're like, oh, I'm in control now. Some drunk driver can come smashing into you. So those are just a couple of very simple, like, you know, ways. Uh, but there, there's just such an illusion of control with humans. And we think we have all this control and we want to have all this control. And we're just kind of like reaching out for the control and like trying to get it. And um, it's just a recipe for disaster you're just going to make yourself feel really bad instead of embracing whatever reality uh you know throws at you so that's a very important point to keep in mind we're gonna get deeper into i'm gonna read all of them then we're gonna get really deeper into into all of it number two this one's a little bit long so so bear with me here your thoughts are separate from who you are don't fall into the trap of believing and trusting your thoughts. Keep the thoughts you like and discard the ones you don't like. Just discard all the others. Keep the ones you like, discard all the others. So in this book, he talks about that. Think of your thoughts as like your roommate. It's not who you are. Okay, think of it as something completely separate from who you are, as if it's literally your roommate that's trying to give you advice or trying to tell you things and you don't agree with all of it. You don't believe all of it. There are some things where you're just like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And then there's some things where you're like, no, that doesn't make any sense at all. Right. This is, you know, this is not only in this book in terms of like you're not your thoughts. This is in dozens of books that I've read. This is, you know. A spiritual aspect of, of life that some people uh, have a hard time grasping that you're not your thoughts because if you think about it when you're thinking things somebody's listening to that you're that person listening to the thoughts you're the consciousness on the inside listening to what your brain or your mind is spitting out and from there you can make the decision okay I, I, I trust this thought I believe this thought uh, or this thought is complete garbage. There's no truth to it. It's trash, right? You can't control your thoughts. 
That's why it's not you. You have no control over your thoughts, nothing, right? You have nothing. And, and this, this entire book is kind of training you to let go of that control and to understand that you do not have the control. You don't have control over where your mind goes or what your mind thinks about. You know, uh, some of our minds, it goes, you know, to places that, you know, we don't want it to go to. Uh, that happens to everybody. So just don't believe it. That, that It only becomes a problem when you believe everything that you're thinking is a part of who you are. Um, that's when it becomes a real problem. So you got to just completely discard some of the bullshit that your mind just kind of makes up and is thinking and like don't associate yourself with whatever is going on in your mind uh, realize that you are separate from your thoughts okay that separation that awareness in itself is going to bring you a lot of peace number three very simple choose to not let things bother you let go and stay open so you choose to not let things bother you let go and stay open so a lot of us we have uh i mean everybody basically i shouldn't say a lot of us everybody has some kind of trauma uh when they were younger when i say some kind of trauma i mean like multiple amounts of trauma when you were younger uh things that really had an emotional impact on you let's say and then like in your older years, this trauma just comes up again. Somebody triggers it in some way <clears throat> and you feel it, you're angry. It just kind of, you know, blood comes rushing to your head and you, you feel like you want to just really express that anger uh, because you've just been triggered. Some childhood wound has just opened up. Um, <clears throat> and what this is saying is, Breathe into that. Understand that all these chemicals are trying to make you react and get angry and, you know, um, yell at somebody or whatever or be sad. Like whatever trauma that was triggered for you, um, just recognize that that's happening to you and like those emotions are coming up. But let go anyways. You don't have to necessarily act. Let's say if you're angry, if you feel those, those angry chemicals in your body... You know, this is something, by the way, this is not something I'm, I'm making up out of my ass either. This is something I practiced in myself and I, I, and I was able to um, let go of things that really triggered me in a very deep way. And, and when it triggers you, you have to realize, first of all, be aware that you've just been triggered and understand that it's, it's like your past traumas hijacking your brain. It's like not even it's not even you anymore. Somebody's just hijacked you when you're being triggered. And once you realize that, you're like, okay, you kind of talk to yourself, okay, I, I've just been triggered. You know, there was a trauma that came up and, you know, whatever. And instead of just outwardly reacting, you learn to just understand that you've been triggered. Understand all the other times in the past that you've been triggered and you've outwardly expressed it and got angry and how how much worse that made everything um and just make a conscious decision like you know what i feel all this anger i feel like i want to punch something or get angry or you know whatever it may be for you and then you simply just don't do it you just relax into it you just start breathing slow calm down remove yourself from the situation remove yourself from the people and just take it easy. I'm gonna get more into that in a second after I read number four, because it's actually a very similar point. Don't fall, let go. No matter what it is, just let go. The bigger it is, the higher the reward for letting go, and the worse the fall for not letting go. So no matter how big and drastic this thing you're upset about is, whether it be upset in an angry way, whether it be upset in a sad way, whether it be upset in a jealous, like whatever, whatever it is, no matter how big it is, it's going to be worse if you bite on the bait, you take the bait, 
and you just kind of loop in these thoughts and you start replaying things in your mind and then now you're making it even worse than it is and like now you're getting yourself even more you know riled up and you know everyone knows how that goes that's not good that's not where you want to be you want to learn to in those situations you know and this is not an overnight thing but you just practice it you know you practice you practice you practice you get better you get better at letting these things go whatever it is that got you you know really angry or you know triggered some of your past trauma or whatever pain body you can call it um just learn to sink into that and just relax into that and be like you know what i'm not going to react to this i'm not going to get emotional about this you know any like emotional means anger angry is you getting emotional you know whenever you're angry at something uh you're acting in a very weak way uh it's a very weak insecure way to act getting very angry and very riled up about something or being extremely upset about something you got to learn to when when those emotions come up when that trauma comes up, uh, whatever, whatever, maybe that trigger that, you gotta learn to just breathe into that and let it go. And what letting go actually means, you know, a lot of people hear this term letting go and they're like, oh, how do I even do that? What, what the hell does that even mean? Letting go is, it could, it, it could be defined as accepting and embracing simultaneously. So if you're in a situation where somebody really bothered you, what happens is you start to resist it. You're like, oh, I can't believe you did that. And you get upset. When instead, you just accept and embrace whatever just happened, even if it's a terrible thing, right? And obviously within reason, guys, we're not talking about like if somebody slaps you in your face, uh, you're gonna be like, oh, that's, that's wonderful. That's not, we're talking about within reason, you know, when your trauma gets triggered, what happens is you have an abnormal reaction to something where, um, you know, you'll know if you have an abnormal reaction to something, if pe the people around you are like, kind of like, that was weird. That was a very large overreaction. That means something, some sort of trauma just got triggered there. And um, if, if, it's, if it's a reaction that's disproportionate with, reality like it's something that you probably shouldn't have reacted to that badly um that's when you know your trauma is getting triggered obviously you know, listen if somebody stabs you with a knife you know you're gonna be angry I i'm not talking about that like sometimes you know with these videos things can get blown out of proportion i'm talking about within reason right uh somebody says something that like and all of a sudden like it triggers you uh and, and nobody else understands like why are you so upset about something that's a situation where you've probably been triggered. That's the kind of situation I'm telling you to, uh, and this book is explaining to let go of and, and, and improve that ability to let go, okay? Just training yourself that when you do get triggered in, in whatever shape, uh, way, shape, or form, you can still be non-reactive. You can learn to calm yourself down in those situations and get through it because if you loop on it that's what's talking about here the worst of fall for not letting go if you don't let go of it and you continue looping on it and um replaying it in your mind making things worse you know which every human will tend to do uh, to some extent um it's just gonna get worse and worse you're gonna feel worse whoever you know is in this situation if everything's just bad uh so that's not something you really want to do uh it's just pointless um and that's that's it yeah that's it for this uh for this video here this is an excellent excellent book if you haven't read this yet i highly recommend you pick this up um you know even if you've never read a book before if you're gonna read your first book start with this one your second book whatever it is start uh, you know read this book i'm telling you guys read this book and that's it for this video um like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one